So we're going to start with the flap. Now that you've done all your connectors and your straps and your handle, uh, we will grab um, the closure connector. It goes across the middle panel. That's where we're going to put that. That will hold your closure strap. Um, I've already basted mine to the edges of the middle panel on the flap, the middle flap piece. And about two inches up from the edge, I'd say, approximately. I've lined mine up so that the little head of the puppy dog is, because I seem to have done that without, not on purpose, and um, but it looks pretty good, I think. Okay, so we don't have any interfacings. The fabric has still got no interfacing or fleece on it. We put that on after we've sewed the three pieces together. So you'll go right sides together with your left flap onto the left side of the middle flap, or your left side flap. So we'll pin that in place. Then do the same to the other side, or you could stitch it on after, it doesn't matter. Stitch first and then do the other side. So we'll stitch that, so I'll see you over at the machine. Okay, so you've got your big large flat piece, all pinned together, and we're just going to do a 3 8 inch seam on that. Make sure you back stitch. Right now, yep, three eighth inch is one centimeter. And we do the other side. It's very rare, unless I'm making clothes, that I sew fabric without interfacing on it. So it's very different how the fabric stretches, and I find that doing this flat piece, it's easier to add the fleece afterwards and you don't have all those little pieces okay so we have our flat piece full fat flat piece done and we just have to top stitch next to the middle flap The kids at the school next door are very loud. I don't mind hearing them now that my kids are grown. I like listening to the kids playing. It's a primary school next door to me. I have a church behind me. So during the week we hear kids playing and then on the weekend we hear the, the church choir. So it's actually rather nice. And now the birds are coming out. It's We're going into spring here. Okay, so I've top stitched. Now you grab your full flat piece. Um, I've given you the measurements in the PDF document. You uh, put the fleece on first, so fuse that to the back, and then fuse your woven over top. So your fleece will be short around the seam allowances, so that will help with sewing a bit later. I'm trying to make it easier for all the people who have a domestic machine, because I have an industrial, so we can go through th great thicknesses, but I also like to use a domestic in some of these projects too. So. Okay, so I'll see you when we're ready to add the, we're going to be adding the handle and the, um, the closure strap that will go through this. 
So there'll be the handle and then we'll have the, the back straps will be also go, being sewn on here. So I'll see you soon. Now we're up to the fun part. We're going to add the handle there, the closure connector with the two O-rings or two rectangle rings. That's just your one that's on its own. Then you've got your back, two back straps, back strap A with the connectors and your O-rings. And we're gonna attach them to the large, the main flap that you just made, the full flap. So as you can see, I'll take the handle back off. I've put the closure connect, the closure strap through the connector. So I've gone through from the bottom with the strap all the way up to the top and then clipped it in place and center it so that it looks nice and neat. And grab your handle. Now, the side where the seam comes open, where we folded before, I want that on my bag to show up when I'm uh, holding it to be at the back of the bag. So I'm going to have to lay it f facing up on the flap. Put that right right next to, as uh, make it as flush as you can, next to the uh, closure strap. And then make sure you don't twist it. Okay, can you see that? So you've got your closure connector, a uh, closure strap there, going through the connector. It's more there for show, but it also holds it in place. Then your handle, and then we're going to put the back straps, uh, A's, next to them, the completed ones. So line that up right next to the handle, clip them in place. Now we're gonna go over and to the sewing machine and baste each one of them to the flap, okay? And just with a maybe a quarter of an inch seam, if you want, you could also go over each piece a couple of times, like back, um, back stitch over them so that they're nice and secure because it will be holding a lot of weight once it's on your back. I've basted all the, the straps, the handle, uh, the straps and the handle all to the, the full flap. I know it's a little harder to see because I used all the same fabric, but. I think you've got the hang of it because it's not that hard. So if you have troubles, just re-watch the video or ask questions below in the comments and I'll get back to you and help you as much as I can. Okay, so next, now that that's done, we're going to grab the the bottom flap, the bottom part, the, yeah, that's it, the, the bottom back, yes. Just have to remember, because I have so many pieces, so I have to look at my notes and make sure I'm grabbing the right piece. We go, it's a rather full piece, and it's all got the, it's got fleece on the back and woven. So I thought I would try and do as much as I can of the filming in front of the sewing machine instead of back and forth to my sewing table, unless I really need to show you something. So then we can sort of get through the process a little bit quicker. I don't like to sort of drag things out and back and forth to the sewing table. So I'm filming between a couple of cameras. <laughs> okay, so we'll put that on. Now, make sure that you choose the, the right side. So it should be the shorter side. Okay, and that should line up. Don't worry if you're over just a touch. We can always trim that down later long as it's it, you'll always find that you add about an eighth of an inch sometimes with with in bag making and it doesn't make too much of a difference okay so I'm gonna put my clips on there I'll start from one end and I'll go to the other end because there is a bit of bulk, I want to make sure it's evenly spaced across. I think there might be some baby birds out there. They seem to be chirping a lot, wanting mum to feed them, I think. Okay. So now we're going to stitch this together with 
a 3 8 inch seam, back stitch at both ends again. Always start in a couple of stitches and then back stitch and go forward again, just so I'm not right on the edge of that fabric. As you go along, make sure you tidy things up and that everything is staying in its place because it can move with a few thicknesses. That's why I like basting all those connectors first and not just holding them all there with clips and then putting the back on. No, there we go. have one complete piece of your bag done one whole panel so I don't know if you can see that I'll try and hold that up for you there so you've got your handle so this will be the front so you can see it's starting to take shape so that goes down over the front and you'll have a strap coming up to close it we'll also put in a zipper there's your back straps there we go. Now we just got to top stitch that. So put your straps facing towards the flap again, all, each all of them. Make sure your, your seam allowance is facing towards the bottom back panel downwards because we're going to catch that in our top stitch. There we go. Move that around again. Keep checking as you go along so your seam allowance isn't getting twisted or folded underneath there. These straps are so secure now, like they're not going to come away. Not like your, your cheap backpacks from the, the local shopping centre. This thing should last a lifetime. Oh, something went off the bottom, off the edge of my machine. It wasn't my scissors, thank goodness. Okay, so we'll trim that. And we are done on the back flat, on the back panel. The whole back panel has now been done. Okay, so we'll put that away and we'll move on to the next thing, which will be the front panel where we put in a front zippered pocket. 